Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about Charles's Law. So in a previous video I talked about Boyle's Law where pressure and volume were uh, related to each other. Today I'm going to talk about volume and temperature and there's something very special about temperature when dealing with gas laws and it's all to do with Kelvin. So volume, I'm going to say Charles's Law states that volume is directly proportional to temperature. Or in other words, volume equals a constant times by T. And this is constant, it's all about the other things in the material. So the pressure of it, the number of molecules that are in it, and the actual material itself, okay? So if I was to plot a graph, I would get a straight line graph because volume on the y-axis and temperature on the x. However, it depends if my temperature is in degree C or into Kelvin. Now, if it was in Kelvin, okay, I know that when I have zero Kelvin, theoretically, I would have zero volume. But just to recap, zero Kelvin equals minus 273 degrees C. Okay, so if I was to plot this graph, on a volume versus temperature graph, it would be moved towards the left. And it would look something like this. The gradient would be the same. However, this thing here would be minus 273 degrees C. Okay. And in an exam, you may be expected, okay, to work out what absolute zero is in degree C based on this graph. And you use the formula of Y equals MX plus C. If you can find the gradient of the graph to find this here, and if you could find the intercept of the graph here, you can then plug that information in here and find X when y equals zero, okay? And that's how you can use this graph to find y equals zero. And what I want to show you now is why we have to use degrees C, uh, Kelvin instead of degrees C. I'm gonna have uh, a situation here. I have a volume of 1.2 meters cubed at a temperature of 20 degrees C. I want to know what happens when, so what is V when T equals 40 degrees C? Okay, and first of all, I'm going to do it wrong. I'm going to show you what it looks like with degrees C. So, I know that V is a constant times by the temperature. Uh, so that's 1.2 equals a constant times by 20. So K equals, grab a calculator. So I know this constant is the same afterwards, so let's put it in. V equals 0 0.06 times by 40. So my new volume is 2.4 meters cubed. So I'm saying that on a sunny day, if I do it by degree C, I'm saying on a sunny day that when I go from 20 degrees C to 40 degrees C, this balloon or gas is going to double in volume. That doesn't happen in real life at all. Okay. And what it's important, why this doesn't happen, why we have to use Kelvin, is going back to these graphs here. This graph is directionally proportional because the intercept is at zero. This formula is a directly proportional formula. This one is not. So this means that this is incorrect. I cannot use the directionally proportional formula when I'm with degree C. So let's put this into Kelvin. So the first job you do when you're doing with volume is that you must convert any temperature to Kelvin. And if you're one of those students that is concerned, always convert any temperature to Kelvin. 
It will work for specific heat and latent heat too. Okay, so 20 degrees in Kelvin is, so minus 273 is zero Kelvin. Zero degrees C is positive 273 Kelvin. So this 273 plus 20 is 293 degrees Kelvin. And 40 degrees C is going to be two, uh, 313 Kelvin. Okay. I can now use the directly proportional formula. So I'm going to use that volume is kT. So 1.2 is k times 293. So k is... 4.1 times 10 to the minus 3. So afterwards, volume equals 4.1 times 10 to the minus 3 times by 313. Volume equals 1.28 meters cubed. That sounds more like it. It does expand, but not by that much at all. Okay. So this is Charles's law. Pressure and the number of molecules in the gas itself are constant. Now this formula is not in your data sheet, but this one is. Or. And if I rearrange this, or either one, so I'm gonna do this one, you end up with V equals N R over P times T, or V equals N K over P times T. If everything else in this is constant, this is your constant here. So that there is Charles's law. Remember, temperature always must be in Kelvin.